What's up guys, Christina Schipetta here with Pink Bike and today we've got a special guest, Remy Mataye. Hi guys. Local bike park rat, free ride extraordinaire. He's invited us into the gym today. We're gonna do a couple exercises that are gonna benefit you as a mountain biker and just help to keep us fit going into the off season. So from my personal experience, I've noticed a lot of people treat the off season differently. They take different approaches to how they're gonna train. I'm really intrigued to know what you do in the off season. The main reason why I go to the gym is so I can stay fit and injury free uh, the entire time. So basically I can ride my bike every single day. And the stuff I do is not like super specific. It's more stuff that basically anyone with a gym could do. What are we actually warming up here? What's this specific drill for? Well, with this, with the elastic band, like when you do little movement like that, you just slowly contract your muscle and you start like, you know, uh, increasing your range of motion. Yeah, basically, this is like a bit your shoulder, your back. Uh, you can basically pull, just like if you're gonna pull your handlebars. And so you can go like slightly on a flex with your back straight and you engage your core and you just like slowly pull. And it's like, it's the same, like it's, you know, it's fairly easy. Like you could be doing that for quite a while. Easy, but not too easy. But that way you just move and like you get a bit warmed up and your muscles start to understand that after that they're gonna move into something a bit harder. I love these little things. They're so cheap and you can use them all around your house. Like you don't need to go to the gym. If you have a little band at home, it's insanely awesome for um, physio, for recovering from an injury. But I mean, this is a good enough workout alone. Like you don't need to go pump iron to get a good workout. Like these things are awesome. So you can jump on the bosu with this. Then you flip it. And then you go up and down. And it's good because that's gonna make like more cardio Ooh. because there's more stuff to do. And it's like your legs, your back, your shoulder, your core, like everything. In order to finish your warm up, just to get your heart rate going a bit, mm. uh, you can do some cardio. This is called a ski erg, so it's basically like cross country skiing, kind of the same movement. I do cross country ski, so maybe I know the so movement a little bit. And on this, like if it's just to warm up, I'll just do like two minutes at a good speed, and two minutes is like enough time to get you pretty tired. So front squat is a really good exercise. You basically put your finger on the bars and just the bar against your uh, collarbone. You set up your feet uh, nicely and then you just, you just squat basically. But uh, it's, even though it's a really good exercise, many mountain bikers have wrist injuries. And so not many people can actually have their, uh, their fingers under the bar because you want to keep your elbow as high as you can, so basically parallel to the ground. Mm -hmm. And so some people can do it. So what you can do is just like cross your arm under. And so that way the weight is no longer on your wrist, but it's just on your shoulder. So I will attempt to do it the appropriate way with my wrist right under the bar. Um, I do definitely have some gnarly wrist injuries from the past, so we'll see if I can even get it up. <laughs> I'm almost like, ooh, eh. Not worth it. That feels way more better. How many reps do you reckon of these ones, Remy? I normally will do like eight to 10 reps and then I'll do uh, eight to 10 uh, jumps on the, on the box. You got it. Look where you want to land. Good. Put your legs a bit closer from each other. Because okay. that's the same distance that you will have on a bike, basically, when you're riding. Yeah, so true. This is hard, like that's gonna get your heart rate going up. Nice. Oh, that was better. Basically, go down, grab the bar. Um, you put your butt like quite low, so your legs are not fully parallel to the ground, but like you're getting there. You look ahead, you keep your back flat. You put some tension on the bar, and then you just lift. What's important is that the bar has to grind against your shin. Right. Yeah. Good. So depending what you're trying to achieve uh, with that exercise, you do a different number of reps. Uh, myself, I usually do about 10 reps. So I usually do about four sets of 10 reps. 
Uh, so we just did the deadlift. Um, we're actually going to use the same bar, same setup. We're going to do a different exercise. What's that exercise going to be, Randy? Yeah, so normally on the deadlift, you'll put more weight than for the exercise we're going to mm -hmm. do. Uh, but we're going to do a bent over row, which is basically to uh, make your back and your spine stronger for like your position on the bike, but also to prevent injuries. And for me, like doing some enduro racing and stuff like 15, 20, 30 minute downhills, like your back gets so tired and you just kind of start to like crumple over and go into this defense mode. So any of these exercises that you can do to be stronger in those situations, like only gonna help you really. Another exercise uh, I like to do, especially following that, because I don't really like to do cardio at the gym, but this one is going to get your heart rate like really going because you're going to do basically every single muscle you have. And so if you do a clean and press, like if you do the proper movement, it's really technical to do. Like I, I don't know how to do it uh, good enough myself. Like it takes like a lot of time in order to master. And so this movement, I actually saw it from uh, Todd from Performix, which is the trainer of uh, Aaron Green, Richie Rood, and uh, Adam from the privateer. And so basically it's uh, an easier way to do it where you kind of engage the same muscle so you get the same benefits. Mm -hmm. Long term, you will not be able to lift as much weight, but that way you can do it. It's way easier to learn and, uh, and you get the same benefits. So I'm going to show you. And the idea is that you grab the bar and you're gonna lift it above your head. So proper clean and press. You're gonna land here, reset and press. Uh, but because too, too complicated, we're just gonna do it where you basically lift and push above your head. Okay. That was actually quite technical <laughs> for me. Like I definitely noticed the imbalance from my left side to my right side. So it felt good up until about this movement. And then when you push up. And then the push up felt very like, <sighs> And that was with like no weight on the bar, so yeah. I definitely see that the potential to like. Yeah, get that's much why it's important to like listen your body and, and you know go within you know what you can do, and like take your time if you have any. Just like when you bike, right? If you have like something that hurts, try not to push because it's not gonna improve stuff. So it's better you fix it first, and then and then you can progress. Uh, but that's why like what I would advise anyone is really to maybe take an appointment with a trainer and to go over like all the movements to learn or to go in a, in a group class where you have like a trainer that's kind of behind you and making sure you learn properly every single movement before you go and do it on your own. Just like if you mountain bike, ideally you'll go with a coach. Well, once we've done all that, I like to finish by some stuff such as like push-ups and, and pull-ups. I actually haven't done pull-ups in what feels like years, in all honesty. Uh, sounds kind of weird to say that out loud, but I guess I've just been a little nervous. I've separated my shoulder a bit. I've got a bunch of wrist injuries, so I know it just seems like a million excuses. But today's the day. I'm going to try to do a pull-up. And if I fail, I'm sure Remy's got some nice little trick he's going to share with me. So use your core. My hands are sweaty of nerves. Okay, core engaged. One, two, three. <laughs> I move my... No, 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 no. Ah, that's good, that's good. That's, that's pretty good. <sighs> so basically put your leg, one of your legs to that. Don't let it go in your face. Yeah. That's that way. Ah. And now I just jump and grab the, the bar. Okay. <laughs> And now, okay. And now do a pull up. Wow, this is crazy. This feels way different. Okay. Core engaged. Ooh. There you go. If only we could Photoshop out the band, that I'm would look sure, like I'm a sure champion. Chris can do that. That was awesome. It's all the benefits of a pull up, but not and, and supporting the, all your body weight. And the good thing is that you can make your way to do it unassisted. Oh, that was crazy. I feel the burn for sure. Yeah. That works definitely some different muscles, lots of the forearm. Either I do it at the gym or I do it at home, but I try to stretch. Uh, naturally, I'm not flexible, so I have to work way harder to have a decent flexibility. Um, so I try to roll as much as I can. Uh, Sometimes just, you know, when I get back home and just sit like literally 20 minutes on this and like slowly roll and try to find like tight muscle and just like make them slightly uh, less tight. These things are awesome. I actually travel this with is... this one in particular because I can like stuff my clothes in 
things yeah. inside it. it fits pretty good in the suitcase it doesn't take uh, it doesn't take much space and it's really good stuff to have Ooh. you can even like a pro tip you can put that on your coffee table when you watch netflix and you can roll your ankle oh well, there you go that's a nice little tip always thinking outside the box so you can do that uh yeah i don't think you can do it too much unless you have like an injury or like a very bruised muscle you don't want to like put too much pressure on it uh, but yeah, that helps recovery and that way you can come back tomorrow and do the same again. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. And thank you, Remy, for sharing your no space, worries. sharing your workout with us. That was really fun, something different. It's always yeah. nice. Yeah, thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, if you have like super specific uh, goals and you want to train towards like, you know, something that's like, you know, more elite, obviously, I advise you to get like a, a professional trainer that's gonna help you to like reach out those goals but hopefully for people who watch the, that video they just uh, you know understand the idea behind uh, going to the gym it's not just to pedal faster sometimes it's just so you can keep doing what you love and uh, be a bit injury free and when you crash it actually doesn't hurt as much and you recover faster and uh, yeah that's uh, that's about it mm -hmm.